Hey, what's going on guys? Jermaine, Mr. Key Taylor here. And uh, I want to shoot this. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be quick, just being honest. I want to shoot this video on one thing that millionaires do that most people don't do that generates them, you know, leads and clients, you know, effortlessly. And it's a really, really powerful live. Um, I'm going to be talking about some real stuff. I mean, some stuff that I haven't really heard anybody else talk about. So I'm just going to wait. For a few people to jump on real quick i see you clinton i appreciate you i appreciate you jumping on clinton thank you for giving me something i can never get back to you which is your time james i see you and so yeah this is gonna be fun d'angelo it's been a little minute coming to you guys live from this here uh little mercedes but i want to talk to you guys about something that's real right um 2020 is closing in a lot of you guys some of you are on track for your goals. Some of y'all thought you was going to crush it this year, and some people didn't crush it. You know, me, I kind of have crushed it this year. I spent a lot of this year uh, developing things, which I'm not even going to talk about. It's in the works, but you guys will literally see in a couple of weeks. I'm about to have a system that's going to drop, so that's going to be fun. Um, but I really want to talk to you guys about how to attract the type of clients that you want, how to generate the leads that you want. And ultimately, let's just talk about millions, right? If, you, if you're not trying to make millions, you probably should leave this live. If, you, if you're not really trying to, uh, uh, you know, ascend and go higher in life, this, this probably isn't for you. But if you want some real keys to wealth, go ahead and do me a solid type in a number one because I'm really about to bring something heavy. Like, it's going to be, it's going to make a world of difference. I believe that this particular live is going to uh, help you get your breakthrough. And I'm going to just be talking about some of my experiences and some of the things that I've seen uh, in the industry. So go ahead and drop those ones so I can see the feedback. And then, because um, it's not really popping up on my phone right now. But as soon as I see, I know that we're good. Everybody can hear. Next time I bring my second line. Because uh, that's that's another way to monitor the comments. I can't see anything. Okay, cool. James says one. So I see that I see that first one. So I feel good. I'm pumped up. So let's do it. So number one, let's talk about let's talk about becoming a millionaire because that's that was what was in the title. And then let's talk about um, attracting clients and leads. So I don't know if you guys have actually um, realized this, but the industry is changing, right? It's not enough to just throw these little uh, spammy posts on the internet anymore. Who wants to make you know ten thousand dollars in thirty days? I mean, yet yeah, that attracts. Let me tell you who that appeals to, right? That appeals to broke people. I'm not trying to be rude or funny, but I'm just telling the truth, right? That attracts broke people. You know, when you're talking about who wants to make an extra thousand dollars online, think about the quality of the person that's gonna bite a post like that. You see, somebody who's making forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars a month, they're not gonna be interested in who wants to make an extra thousand dollars a month, right? Go ahead and type in the number two if you understand what I'm saying. And so one thing I noticed about millionaires, um, they and this is one of the secrets, they just don't care about all the little superficial stuff, right? You're going to see those people online and there's nothing wrong with this. They're going to want to ball out. I did it too, right? They want to get the big condo. They want to get the, the fancy car. And there's a time for that, right? But, but if you notice, most real like super rich people, I'm talking about like Bill Gates, they'll be wearing Reeboks. They'll, you know, they'll wear, they'll have... Like me, they'll have a white shirt, but they'll have like 17 of them. <laughs> you understand? They they um, they um, will wear like the same type of jeans. So they don't have to think about their clothes. And they have billions and billions and billions of dollars. I was talking to one of my friends um, probably about two, three days ago. And I said, bro, where you at? And he said, uh, I'm up about 200K right now. And I said, uh, you're up 200K right now? And he said, yeah. And I'm driving in a hoopty. <laughs> and I was cracking up. And he said, I don't care what people think about me. And he had this like long curly hair, you know, uh, decent looking dude. He cut his hair, right? He cut it into an afro. And this is the first key because he didn't care what people think. He does not care what people think. And so one, one of the things about when you don't care what people think is it enables you to just be yourself. And, and here's a crazy part. When you're being yourself, the people, including the clients, the people who really um, rock with you, the people who really want to do business with you, they're going to see you, they're going to appreciate your value, and they are going to do business with you. You know why? Because you're not putting up a false mask, you're not putting up a false pretense, you're not trying to be something or someone that you're not, you're just being who you are, and the more you be who you are, the more they're going to love you. And there goes somebody spamming on my uh, on my live. So Irving just spammed my life. He said, uh, can you shout out my YouTube? 
Sure. I mean, and that's another thing. When you have love in your heart and you love people, I mean, get it how you can. Irvin, everybody, uh, go check out Irvin's uh, YouTube channel. Apparently, it's youtube.com slash team with Irvin. Now, here's the thing, Irvin. If you're going to uh, ask me to shout you out, give people something of value to offer. If you provide value to the marketplace, you, you, don't, you won't need my shout out. People will just come to you because you're you, right? So anyway, type in the number two if you guys understand what I'm saying here. We got to let go of people's opinions because that's what all wealthy people do. They don't care what they dress like. They don't care what they look like. They just give the value and get out the way. It's not spam coach. Well, you know, it's uh, using somebody else's, uh, what do you call it? Somebody else's platform for publicity. I'm not knocking it. Hey, we all got to start somewhere. So go ahead and type in the number two if you guys understand what I'm saying. So the first thing is you got to let go of people's opinions, but then you got to fully be yourself. I remember when I first got started, right, um, back in like 2000 and whatever, I hated videos. I used to have all these fears, all these insecurities. What, 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 what will the people think of me, you know? What if I mess up? What if I say the wrong thing? And these are the types of situations that, these are the types of situations that a lot of people find themselves in, especially at the beginning, analysis paralysis, right? If you wanna be uh, a millionaire, first of all, you have to provide a million dollars worth of value. You see, and when you're providing a million dollars worth of value, you don't have time to be thinking about what are people going to think? Just do what it is that you're going to do. Just find the ideal client and help them. And so let me go deeper in that topic of not really caring what people think too much, but also being who your ideal client needs you to be in order for you to actually attract the success that you want. So first things first, um, I see this online all the time. If you're posting gimmicky things like, oh, who wants to make $2,000? an extra 2000 a month. There's people who, who will gladly work with you. I'm talking about they will pay you 2000 a month, right? They will literally, they, they may see the value in you, but you're giving them the wrong message. You see, if you're telling people, uh, here's how to fix your credit in, in two weeks, right? The people who, who actually uh, value success, who know everything is a process, they're going to be turned off by anything that sounds like, oh, it's, it's too... Uh, not necessarily too microwave, but it happens too quickly. There's people who value the process. They know, oh, in order to build a, a long-term business, it might take, you know, three to six months. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some effort. And it's not a sexy message, but that's the message that's going to attract the people that'll pay you five grand. When you start using terms like long-term investments, return on investments, dividends, generating leads. Which, which one is more sexy and attractive to a business owner? Here's how to get more customers and clients to your product or service, that type of language, versus who wants to make an extra $500 by the end of the week. Do you guys understand the difference? The message that you put out is also going to determine um, kind of who you, who you attract. You see what I'm saying? And the things you talk about is what's going to determine who you attract. That's how you're going to generate more leads. And, and it's so crazy to me because everyone's always saying, I want more traffic. I want more traffic. You don't want more traffic. You want more leads. You don't want more leads. You want more customers. And you don't want more customers. You want more clients. You see, eventually we have to grow up in business. A lot of us, we've been doing the same thing the same way with the same message for years now. And if we don't switch it up, we're about to go extinct. You understand? In 2020, in 2021, in 2022, it's not enough to have these flashy gimmicks. It's not enough to, to, to stand in front of a rental. That's why I'm not showing you guys my bends right now. All this stuff out here, it doesn't matter. All this crap is, is material. What you need to do is now you need to invest in value. You need to invest in yourself. You need to invest in your mind. Because, listen, if you invest in your mind, you can talk to anybody and close anything. I'm serious. You know, I've been closing 5K deals, 2K deals. I've been closing no K deals. Sometimes you can just talk to somebody who needs help, right? And you have a product or service and charge them $97. Boom. But you do that three times a day. Guess what? That's 300 a day. That's 10,000 a month. That's six figures a year. So why is it that we're not making the millions or making the money that we want to make? It's because we're too busy trying to be something that we're not, number one. Number two, we're, we're trying to... Avoid, we're taking shortcuts and so 
you know, I, I, I started asking myself, you know, what, what do I really want? What do you really want, Jermaine? What do you care about? Because a lot of us, we care, we care about social media. We care about keeping up with the Joneses. We care about, oh, I'm not making as much sales as this person. I'm not making as, as much sales as, as that person. But that level of thinking is what's keeping us away from the wealth that we truly desire. You see, we're so focused on what we don't have. We don't recognize what we have. I would rather have, uh, you know, I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies. You see, if people are actually watching and paying attention, I'm grateful, right? I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of who's here, why they're here. Because if you're great at what you do, they'll spread the word. You see? And so I want to just kind of give you guys these keys because if you can just let go of the fear of what will people think, you're, you're going to be able to do basically whatever it takes. You're not going to care about what it looks like. You're not going to care about what you look like. It don't matter. Happy Monday, Jermaine. I appreciate you, Heather. Irving says, best statement, best mentor ever. I appreciate you, Irving. And I congratulate you on being mature about it and not really taking what I said the wrong way. You know, just trying to help. So at the end of the day, guys, I really, I really want you to get, as long as you improve yourself, okay? Now, <laughs> I'm about to offend a lot of people, but kind of don't care because I'm, I'm running in my own lane. Personal development is garbage. That doesn't mean it doesn't work, but it's garbage, okay? As long, let me, so when I say as long as you develop yourself, let me be clear. I need you to program your consciousness for wealth. Program your consciousness for abundance. Program your consciousness to be effective. The science of success. People say, Jermaine, what do you want to be in life? Effective. <laughs> you know what I want to be in life? Effective. I don't want to, uh, I want to be effective in money. I want to be effective in relationships. I want to be effective as a Forex trader. I want to be effective as a friend. I want to be effective. That's, that's what I want to be. What do you want to be in life, Jermaine? Effective. You know, people say, what's your definition of success? Effective. Because if you're effective, it's working. If you're not effective, it's not working, right? And so I want you to understand, right? If you want to attract more, first of all, if you want to become a millionaire, if you want to attract more leads, if you want to attract more clients, the first step, letting go of what people think. You know, I was, I was having a very valuable conversation uh, with uh, one of my close entrepreneur friends. His name is Jeremiah. And he was, uh, he was telling me how he, he started working with a guy who does $10 million a year. In, in sales. And I said, okay, cool. How did you do that? And he said, well, you know, I got on the phone with the client or with the, with the customer and I was straight to the point. No fluff. I told him exactly who we are, what we can do for them. And I made him feel like, watch this. I made him feel like if he wasn't serious, he was wasting my time. Go ahead and type in a number five. If you've kind of seen that trait with people if, if they're not serious, I may, he said, I made him feel like if they're not serious, they're wasting my time. I said, wow, that's crazy. And this is how he's been able to raise investors. He's told me he's raised $40,000 from investors. It's pretty remarkable, right? I'm like, I'm sitting there listening to this like, wow, this is, this is incredible. And, you know, I just want to say this. I noticed like on social media platforms, it's like the more surface things are like you know i could post a nice picture with a car and a cute quote it'll get hundreds of likes but you start talking about some real stuff some real keys stuff that requires work programming development and it's all of a sudden like where do people go right and that's okay you have to be you have to be okay with 10 people watching you 20 people watching you not necessarily millions i'm gonna tell you why because would you rather have the right 20 people or would you rather have a hundred people or 200 people who really don't care about your life who really don't care about your mission or maybe they might they maybe just watch you from ins for some inspiration but you want people who are going to contribute see a lot of my clients end up becoming a lot of my you know some of my best friends you see you want people who are going to pay you and people who are going to be happy about paying you but that will never ever happen unless number one you show them who you are number two you show them what you stand for and number three you actually are good at what you do you got to actually be pretty good you know you got to always be improving what it is that you're doing and this is the real unsexy truth about how to make millions I was reading a book the other day actually it was called the compound effect right and he was basically talking about how everybody wants a magic pill he was talking about how um, sometimes you know we're sold oh for three payments of th uh, 39.95 you can have a flat stomach or you can make riches and there's nothing wrong with those kinds of messages you know I'm a marketer too and all that but 
sometimes you have to set the expectation. Let me tell you where real success comes from. It comes from the, the compound effect. It comes from basically doing small things consistently over time. You see? And another thing, if you're being inconsistent, a lot of people, they're not really going to, um, they're not going to pay attention because they, they feel like, okay, you can't really be trusted. Uh, hey, Phil, Phyllis, what's going on? Um, you can't really be trusted because if, you, if you're going to get clients' results, they want to see consistency. That's why I'm always dropping testimonies. But what I've been actually doing recently is I've been behind the scenes actually helping my customers, actually helping my clients get results. So now, um, now that I have my product lines done and I'm about to launch these product lines, everything is already there. You see, the authenticity is already there because people have already gotten results. Right, like I have, I took on a client uh, a couple months ago. His name is Luco Joe, forex client. Right, he paid me, and now he's having thirty-seven hundred dollar days. Right, I have other clients. Somebody paid me uh, like a month ago. They're catching. I don't know if you guys are forex traders. Some of you are. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Some of you are marketers. But we're all entrepreneurs here. At the end of the day, if you're watching this, and they're catching seventy-two pips. And so what that means is, if you was to put a dollar on that, that's seventy-two dollars. If you was to put ten dollars on that, that's seven hundred and twenty bucks. If you was to put a thousand dollars on that, that's seven thousand two hundred dollars in uh, potentially in a single day. And so here's the cool thing: when you just go out there and you don't care what people think, and you're just gonna be yourself, and you just start serving people, literally start finding anything and anyone to give back to, right? What's gonna happen is that's gonna generate you a result, it's gonna generate you a client, it's gonna generate you a testimonial, and I'm gonna show you how. Because you are good at what you do, what's gonna happen is you're gonna, um, first of all, you're gonna make somebody happy, you're gonna produce goodwill. Second of all, that result is, that result, that testimonial, that thing, is what you're going to use to get your next result. You see, some of you guys, you can you can land customers, you can land clients, you can land millions and millions of dollars in revenue. You you know, if you just have the right strategy, and I'll, I'll explain to you how and why. I have a forex trading friend of mine. He's pretty good at catching pips, right? So what he does is he says, "Hey, look, look at all the trades that I'm taking." Then he goes and finds other people's money, and he says, "Look, look at what I'm doing. If you like it." Let me use your money and I'll trade it and you can give me a percentage. You see? And he's cutting deals with millionaires. And they're like, okay. And they're giving him the money and he's trading and he's performing and he's doing good. And so another secret trait of multimillionaires is they're top performers, right? They're top, top performers. They're always trying to be the best at what it is that they're doing. Okay? So one, if you guys are wondering, Jermaine, what are you working on right now? Um, are you working on companies? I mean, kind of, sort of, a little bit, but more so, I'm working on my company. You know, I decided that, you know what, 2020 is coming. We're going to have to do something different. I want to wear the CEO hat. I don't necessarily want to just be a rep helping somebody else build their business. I'm actually going to build mine. And so what I do is I literally train entrepreneurs from the inside out. You know what I mean? I program them to be successful. I give them the exact keys that I use to become successful, and it works, you know? tons and tons and tons of successful students uh, and, and it doesn't matter what I teach in it doesn't matter if I'm teaching drop shipping from teaching Forex from teaching internet marketing my students get results but it's because I'm not necessarily making the thing that they're doing the superhero I'm making them the superhero I'm holding them accountable for growth and by them becoming a better entrepreneur by them becoming more skilled what's actually happening is um, they are able to now uh, do things that they never thought they could do, right? I'm, I'm removing the limitations in their mind. I'm helping them exit their personal matrix so that they can achieve freedom, right? And that's what it's all about. And freedom isn't a couple hundred dollars or even just barely paying your bills. Freedom is like $10 million. And I'll, I'll explain to you how and why, right? Everybody has different income goals. You don't necessarily need to make $10 million or even a million dollars to be to be good. But I'm going to explain something to you. Again, um, the stuff that you put out into the universe, the stuff that you talk about is going to attract millionaires, it's going to attract your perfect clients. A lot of you guys want to generate traffic, you want to generate leads, but you're not creating content that will resonate with your ideal customer. So that's, so that's why I'm switching it up. I'm not really trying to help somebody make an extra $500. Who wants to create long-term wealth? Go ahead and type in, type in wealth if you want to create long-term wealth because that's what it's going to be about. From now on, I'm not I'm not gonna make it about the flash. I'm not gonna make it about the cash. Not that that was ever my style anyway. Um, I saw an entrepreneur on the internet 
who was literally talking about uh, his uh, supercar the other day, and he, he and he was using it to entice people to get into his business, and then the car got wrecked. You know, that's crazy. Like things can be here today and gone tomorrow. So that's why you want to play for real things. You want to you want to build off of things that are gonna last, right? And so anyway, I just want to kind of share this uh, this quick story with you. It <laughs> kind of slipped my mind, but it'll come back, right? So we were talking about, somebody remind me, what, what we were talking about? We, I was totally going somewhere with this. So we were talking about um, clients, shooting content, quality of stuff, and then I drew a blank. It'll come back, but it's all good. I can, you know, I have topics for, for years to talk about. Generational wealth. Okay, that's where it was. So like, so here's the thing, right? If you have, let's just say you spend, let's just say you spend 100 grand a year. Okay? You actually spend, and that's your lifestyle, you spend 100 grand a year, okay? You have, and you do that for 10 years, and you have a million dollars saved up. If you have one million dollars saved up, and you spend 100 grand a year, you have exactly 10 years worth of wealth. 10 years, you have enough to survive and live. What's going on, Donnet? Hopefully you're enjoying the Forex code. You have exactly um, 10 years worth of wealth to live on. So, wow, that's interesting, right? You, you don't have to worry about bills and you don't have to worry about um, money and, and all your endeavors and all of that for 10 years. It's not bad. Now, if you have $10 million in the bank, $10 million saved up, okay, and you live off of a, off the same 100000 a year, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have exactly... Yes, I'm taking notes. Awesome. Proud of you. You have exactly 100 years worth of wealth a hundred years worth of wealth you see and so what when you start focusing on making money because making money is going to keep you in that cycle when you change that mind from making money to creating long-lasting wealth not you won't have to keep starting again and i'm not gonna lie i'll be the first to tell you i would start again almost every single year i'd find a new company okay my, my, this is just me being real with you Let's start with like MLM, for example. I would start a new company. I would take it from nothing to 1,300 reps. They'd be paying 3,500, I mean, sorry, they'd be paying $35 a month, right? And I get a cool little 2K, 5K a week, right? What's the company making off of those efforts? That's like 45,000 a month, you see? In two months off of one person, that company would make $90,000 residually off of me. So in three months, they're making six figures, but they're not paying that. That's the power of being a CEO. That's the power of owning some stuff, right? That's just, you know, I'm just talking about some different things. You see what I'm saying? And I had to say, well, dang, Jermaine, let me give you another example. I joined another company way back when, and um, it was like 200 plus a start, and it was like um, $187 a month, right? That company was making however many millions. I'm talking about like 10 million a month off of the representatives, which isn't a bad thing. You know, they're creating an opportunity for people. But hear me out. Why do I have to bring in 500 people at $187 for me to make 10K a month? How much did you make? I, I did some math the other day. I said, I've sponsored 3,900 people by myself in a company before. If you, if you create your own product or service, and you charge $97 a month for people who love you because you built your personal brand, your personal value. $100 a month times 100 clients is 10K a month. Did, did, did I just, did some of y'all just have a mindset shift? That's the power of owning some stuff. That's the power of being an owner. That's the power of, of really creating long lasting wealth. If you understand that, go ahead and type in the number one. Because um, me personally, I'm trying to change the audience, so I'm not trying to change. I am changing the audience. I'm changing the audience that I'm attracting, right? I don't, I don't want to deal with people who just want to make a fast buck anymore, you know? Um, there's tons of people out there for people who want to make a fast buck. If you want to create generational wealth, if you want to really learn the keys to being an entrepreneur, you're who I'm after. And if I have to wave, wave my car at you, if I have to show you that I got a Benz or a Bentley or a condo to do it, you're probably not who I really want to attract because number one, you're not really here for me. You're here for what you think you, you see. And what you think you see is just what I show you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, I learned that. Watch this. Let me, let me give you all some real game. I learned that the more money you make, 
the more silent you're actually going to be. I'm going to tell you why. You're talking about how, how you make multiple six figures, this and tens of millions of dollars of that. Guess who's coming for you? The IRS. Yep. It's dangerous, y'all. I mean, you play the, you know, you choose the game that you want, but a lot of people are trying to fake it till they make it. And what's happening is that the skill set isn't where their, uh, where their, where, the, where their clout is. It's the reason why I left BizOp, why I started my own agency. Exactly, Daniel. I 100% I agree. Now, now, don't get it twisted. I'll be 100% transparent with you guys. I'm still in the BizOp space. You know why? Because BizOp allows me to meet uh, developing entrepreneurs, and then I get to coach them, right? Seriously, I had a $5,000 coaching payment that came from uh, uh, MLM the other day. Somebody joined, was in one of my downlines, right? So I'll probably always do MLM just, just because. A lot of times when I do it, I don't, you'll never hear me like really put it on my wall. You'll never hear me really say uh, too much about it because I put my companies first before a company, always. I put my team first before, you know, a, a, a bigger situation. Um, but it's not the only thing I do. I trade Forex. I teach people on how to build their own consulting businesses, right? I teach people how to build digital products and I do affiliate marketing. So these are basically the mainstreams. But I'm telling you, if you just, if you just focus on, but being attractive, focus on on uh, speaking the language that your future client will be attracted to. You can, you're not going to have an issue making money. And here's the better thing. You're going to be comfortable. You're going to be being yourself. And again, this is that secret that millionaires use, but you have to not care. And when I say don't care, I'm, so, I'm talking about no, no knock against it, but it wasn't for me personally anymore. Yeah, totally understand, you know. Everybody, um, you know, everybody has different cup of tea. I will tell you, though, it's not necessarily the vehicle that's important. It's the skills behind the vehicle. So every field has, in my opinion, every field has a different um, skill set to teach you. Like, I love MLM. I'm going to tell you why. Because to some people, it's hard as hell. Like, if you can't do MLM, I can do MLM with ease. Like, it was the last skill that, that, uh, that I had to master. But MLM, what does that teach you? It teaches you how to sell. What's up, Anthony? It teaches you how to how to organize and be a leader. See, I learned that skill set. So now when it comes to building my company, which is 9 to 5 Rehab or the Freedom in 365 movement or even 9 to 5 Rehab FX, which is the Forex branch of what it is that I'm doing. When it comes to building my company, now I, can, now I know how to find people, put them in place. It's the same thing what they call recruiting. It's just salesmanship. What's up, Anthony, Mr. Mitchell? Mr. Mitchell's a... Uh, a really kick butt real estate uh, investor for those of you guys who uh, want to get into real estate. We actually, me and Anthony actually have a joint real estate course. So just letting you know it's out there if you want to, uh, if you want to learn that skill set. No money down real estate. I'm talking about no money down. Going up to houses, putting them on the contract, finding buyers, linking them up with sellers, being the middleman. Great business. So anyway, that was an aside. So yeah, so MLM teaches you sales and it teaches you management. It's so powerful. Anytime I do something, I don't do it for the thing. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the skills it's going to give me. Uh, salesmanship. I love consulting. I love consulting. I love selling stuff because every time I sell something, what does that really mean? A lot of, I'm going to just change the frame of reference of the word sell. People think selling is uh, trying to pressure people into getting things they don't want, don't need, or can't afford. That's not what sales is right? Sales is uncovering the value of what you have so well that people want to buy. Sales is basically say, fi, like basically seeing what people want and helping them get closer to their desires. And in one, in one sentence, sales is saying, how can I help you? If you ask that question to the right person, you're going to make a lot of money. You see, some people have two-figure problems, three-figure problems. I need to make some money to pay my bills. Some people have multi-million dollar problems. And if you can solve those multi-million dollar problems and you actually have solutions, they will have no problem paying you handsomely, you see? So we got to graduate from being, from trying to make money to being real business owners. So that's why I love sales. Let's talk about investing. Investing is a tough challenge at first. I love, 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 love Forex. And for those of you who don't know my Freedom in 365 blueprint for becoming wealth, wealthy, first of all, improve your awareness, increase your cash flow. Third step, invest, invest, invest. Wealthy people, they don't really save money. They would rather blow the money than save the money because they know sitting in a bank is not going to do nothing. So they, they basically take calculated risks. You know, I was talking to one of my close friends. His name is Josh. And uh, he said, uh, what was that phrase? He said, measure twice, cut once. 
Wealthy people measure twice, three times, four times, five times, and then they cut once. In other words, they find deals or investments. For me, it's Forex. Uh, I heard somebody post on Facebook. They said Forex is a grown man's uh, game. It's a, you know, it's a grown man's computer game. It is. You know, I had a lot of fun in Forex last night, man. I just click, 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 quick $500 went to sleep. You know, Forex is a very, uh, it's an incredible blessing. And I love Forex. Not because of the money. I don't. That's not why I love Forex, right? I seen somebody had a 100K day trading Forex, um, I think this week or last week. I said, you know what, Jermaine? You need to step your game up. It's okay. And I love Forex, right? And I believe I've mastered it, but I wasn't going as hard in it as I could have. So now, you know, that's that's one of the main priorities. What's going on, Yomi? I see you, big fella. How you liking the 9 to 5 Rehab Academy? You getting value? Did it change your life yet? Go ahead and uh, drop a little something, something for the people. Let them know. But anyway... Forex. I love Forex because it teaches me patience. And you're like, what the heck, Jermaine? What does patience have to do with anything? Patience has to do with everything, whether it's waiting for a deal. But Forex, I'm serious. Forex will show you how greedy you are. It will show you if you're really meant for wealth or not. Right? If you're playing with lower time frames and you just want to make quick money, Forex will humble you quickly. You'll lose real money in Forex. You see? So that's why I like Forex because Forex will... It, it, it'll it'll give you that opportunity to create unlimited wealth if you're not greedy you see so I believe that everybody should have a side hustle a business or even if you just have a job go get that money create your cash flow invest in Forex never ever 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 give up on Forex ever since that $20,000 week that I had on gold in April my mind has just never been the same like it's hard to just come back from something like that it was my first $20,000 week I'm not even going to tell you guys what, what the future weeks are going to be like, but I'm just saying, or, or are being like, I'm just saying that that was my first $20,000 week, so I'm going to just reference that one forever because it'll change your mind. Some Like, I'm saying $1,000 was turned into twenty grand, 1000 the return on investment, twenty grand, And what did it take? 15 minutes of analysis, and I clicked a mouse. I don't know if you guys understand the power of clicking a mouse and printing money. That's what the banks do with your money, by the way. If you're leaving your money in the bank, they're just taking your money and they're trading Forex with it. That's what they're doing, right? And so this is why you want to master the skill sets and the money will come. So the skill sets are um, sales. Uh, the skill sets are marketing. The skill sets are investing. What's going on, Seuss? I see you. So investing would, would be, uh, that would fall under Forex. Actually, no, Forex would fall under investing. What's up, Letitia? I see you. The last skill set, if you want to be a powerful, powerful, powerful millionaire, you got to learn how to network. This is so powerful, right? I want you guys to get this. Please don't miss this. Wealthy people spend 30% of their time with people who are on their level. They spend 30% of their time with people who are above their level. And then 30% of their time basically serving people, I don't want to say below their level because it's, it's not meant to sound narcissistic. It's more so, you know, people who need a helping hand up. That's all. That's what I'm talking about. Learn the skill sets. Yeah. So networking has changed the game for me. Networking has allowed me to land clients that turn into joint venture partners that get me capital. People have been like, hey, Jermaine, here's five grand. What can you do with it? Now, technically, that's my money. It might take a thousand dollars, like, to get them a return on their investment. I can pocket the other 4000 I'm putting you guys onto real business, real keys. Enough of this uh, fugazi, half entrepreneurship stuff, you know? If you go that route, guys, you're not going to build a, a stable foundation. Think about where you're going to be three years from now, five years from now. Nobody wants to talk about that. We're so used to living month to month. We're so used to living three months ahead. We're so used to living a year ahead that we can't see 10 years from now. You know what I'm saying? I did. I, I balled out already, right? I did the Lamborghinis, right? I, I did the car thing. I did the high-rise condo, right? And I'm th in the back of my head, when my friend's telling me, yeah, Jermaine, I'm up 200000 Listen, right? Two months ago, he wasn't up 200000 Do you understand what I'm saying? He said, Jermaine, I'm up 200000 and I'm driving in a hoopty. I, he said, Jermaine, I gave up my, my charger. I let my baby go. I don't, I don't care what people think about me anymore. Jermaine, I'm cutting my hair so I can focus on me. Jermaine, I'm in the gym three times a day. He said, I don't care about looking rich. I actually want to be rich. Right? 
So I'm like, dang, I want to be the person who owns the condo. I want to be the person who, um, who has, you know what I'm saying? I want to be the person who owns 50 complexes and is wearing sweats and a white t-shirt at the beach sipping martinis. See, it's a difference. Instead of what? Trying to stunt? Trying to flex for Facebook? For what? You know, and, and here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with flexing. You're going to see me flex. Like, but only probably when I go out to like events or something. Only when I'm with my team. Only when we're creating wealth. And I'm trying to tell you, if you, if you could just get this in your heart, like, like the millionaires and billionaires that wear the same clothes every day. You can't tell if they wash their clothes or if they have 17 copies of the same outfit like Timmy Turner or The Simpsons or something. You know, seriously, they have better things to worry about. They have more things on their mind than external appearances. They're so focused on becoming the real deal and just looking like they're the real deal. That's the freaking difference. And when you focus on becoming the real deal, boy, I can't tell how y'all are taking this slide. This is good stuff. Y'all type in the number two if this message resonates because I'm trying to build a new audience and a new crowd anyway. Not off that. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to... Um, I don't want a, a, a penny following anymore. I don't want the followers. I want quality. I want customers. I want clients. I want friends. I want, I want to help the people who are really my tribe. And your tribe will know who you are. You just have to not give a F about what everybody else thinks. I'm telling you. If that sounds crazy, well, shoot. Welcome to the new Jermaine. Welcome to the new me. You know? I have to ask myself, what the heck am I doing this for? I'm doing this for my children's children. I'm doing this to help y'all. Like, if you're watching this, I love you. That's why I'm doing it, right? I'm, I'm finding the keys. I'm getting you the keys. I'm showing you the door. I'm getting the heck out the way. Everything else don't matter. Focus on your mission. And the people who matter will come along and help you with your mission. What's up, Von Von? Say hello, <laughs> say hello to Lonnie for me, you know? And I'm serious. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, is what I'm doing making me happy? Listen, you put on a facade on social media, you know what's going to happen? You're going to have to keep that facade up. <laughs> you be your real self, whoever that may be. If what you have is valuable, you have an audience that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're not listen to me, listen to me closely. If they're not attracted to you while you're not flashing stuff, they're not attracted to you when you are, trust me. They don't like you. They like what, you, what you're showing them. Right. And, and I see a lot of entrepreneurs fall into this trap. And yeah, they get many, many of the what I call them biz out bottom feeders. They get the biz out bottom feeders, people who are still trapped in the matrix, people who are still trying to keep up with the Joneses. You know, a lot of people that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just had a 2K day. But what they don't tell you is they spent 5K to make 2K. And they, they're down 3000. Right. I don't believe <laughs> I hardly believe anything I see on social media anymore. Right. I don't even believe myself. <laughs> you know, we tell ourselves lies all the time. Jermaine, you don't feel like it. Error thought, delete. <laughs> that's not even you. That's how, you know, that's, the, that's your programming. That's what you told yourself. At the end of the day, I want you guys to understand. You can be, you can do, you can have whatever you want. You create your own reality. You are phenomenal. You're excellent. You're powerful, okay? What's holding you back? You. What's holding you back? Opinions. What's holding you back? What other people think. What's holding you back? Yourself. Right? You got to program yourself to move different. You got to stop freaking moving on every freaking company that drops. Because other people say it's pop popular. And look, there's nothing wrong with companies. Like I said, I'm in a few of them. I get a few residual checks from a few of them. There's nothing wrong with companies. I'm just saying, if you're going to do a company, that's cute. Do your own also. While you're doing that company, raise the money, start your own. Right? I, I'm on some like, who wants to be a, you know how, who, who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a real entrepreneur? You know, that's what I'm, I'm about. I want to teach people how to program themselves for success, how to increase their consciousness, how to tap into the law of attraction, the law of creation, how to use the compound effect, how to start using the laws of the universe to create generational wealth, right? That's what I'm about. Then once they program themselves for success, they have to, and by the way, there's like five layers of programming. You have to program your identity. Then you have to program your consciousness, what you're aware of, so you can recognize opportunity because poor people pass over opportunities repeatedly, right? Then you have to program, you know, yourself. The science of success, you have to understand how success actually works. Then you have to program yourself to actually have the skill sets. So you, have, you can understand the science of success, but if you don't have the skills, 
Well, skills pay the bills. You understand? You pay for how good you are at what you do. And then the last layer of programming is your self-discipline, right? There is no substitute for self-discipline. You're just going to have to do the work. Okay? Sorry. Sorry that I can't tell you you're going to make a billion dollars in three seconds. You're going to have to do the work. But, but here's the thing, though. I know you've heard this before. When you love what you do, it's not work. Okay? And I don't believe in hard work. Personally, here's what I believe in. I believe in taking steps. Isn't that more powerful? Like, go ahead and type in the number two if, if that empowers you more. When people tell me you just got to take action, it irritates my soul. I can't stand it. <laughs> you just got to take action, Jermaine. You know, I give him that look. You know, with the squinty eyes, like, really? Like, really? I just got it. No. Have a goal. Take steps towards the goal. It doesn't matter if it's Forex, MLM, your own company, digital marketing agency, selling courses, a YouTube channel, affiliate marketing, whatever. Set a goal. Take steps. The reason why you're not where you want to be is because you're not taking steps. You take steps, you get to where you want to be. Simple. Success in a nutshell. Right? Isn't that cool? Take steps. And so, basically, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Take steps. And so, increase your consciousness. Improve your awareness, which is the same thing as increasing your consciousness. Step two, sell market. Why would I tell you to sell a market? Oh, but Jermaine, I don't like to sell. I don't like the market. Okay, guess what? You know who likes to sell a market? Hmm, everybody else. Every time you go to Walmart, you're being marketed to. Every time you, first of all, who you are is marketing right now. You understand? There's a time to get get a little uh, get a little beard. There's a, there's a time to, to to get a little uh, you know what I'm saying? A little uh, <laughs> a little rugged, and, and get in the cave and go create some stuff. And then there's a time to get your pretty boy on and jump in a in a in a Ferrari. You know, there, there is a time for that. You know, you can't sell a dream looking like a nightmare, but at the same time, you gotta understand the mission. <laughs> and everybody's mission is different. But I'm just saying. What am I saying? I'm all over the place. Let me get back to uh, increasing awareness, creating that cash flow. Why do you want to sell? You want to sell because everybody is selling to you. Okay? So, look. This Benz, somebody sold me a dream. I bought into the dream. They made some money. You understand? Houses. Every time you live in a house, somebody sold you the house. It's sell or be sold. Nice beard. I'm still trying to grow it, man. I've been trying for like three years. Man, I, I've been cutting my hair, but not cutting it because I've been I'm trying to get it to connect for a long time. Some people laughing at me. Ha, ha, ha. Jermaine got like little peach fuzz. That's funny, though. <laughs> I'm trying. I promise. But anyway, um, you want to sell. If you're if you're fighting sales, you're always going to be at an advantage, a disadvantage because you're buying a computer. You're buying a phone. You're buying gas every time you hit the friggin pump. Dude, let somebody buy something from you collect other people's money then guess what take their money put it into some forex make some investments or if you don't like forex that's fine too risky for you go get you go get some real estate it doesn't matter that's a grown man beard right there it is uh, oh shoot well i've been trying you know <laughs> all right Go, go multiply the money because you have to get money, keep it, then multiply it. Get money, keep it, then multiply it. Get money, keep it, then multiply it. Go hard. Don't care about what people think. Just go get the money. Multiply the money. This is what I call entrepreneurship. Okay? Now once you've got the money, that fourth step, so you want to improve your awareness. This is my message forever, now and forever, to help people exit the matrix. And the matrix is limitation, any form that it comes in. Right? There's a, deep, there's a deeper and a bigger picture, but I ain't going there. Let me tell you where we are going to stay. You want generational wealth? You want to never, you know, struggle with your bills? You want, look, you, cool. You make 10K, you make 20,000 a month, but you spend 15,000. I remember my first $40,000 a month. I spent 18 grand by accident. And I was like, dang, where did the money go? Somebody sold me some stuff. A lot of people sold me some stuff. That's where the money went. Now, it was coming in continuously, so it didn't matter where it went. But I'm just saying, somebody sold me some stuff. So don't spend money. Don't spend any money like Jermaine. What? Don't spend money. We live on planet Earth. Yes, don't spend a dime. One thing I've noticed about billionaires is they keep all their money. They are frugal. They can have it and not have it. Do you understand? 
They are frugal. I didn't understand this at the beginning. You know, because I was trying to follow, well, I wasn't trying to follow the crowd. I was trying to follow my heart. I was following my dreams. But then after I lived my dreams, I'm like, you know what? I'll get a little hoopty. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll give up. You know, I, I like my car. I don't care about about the car, though. You know what I'm saying? If, if, the, th if the thing was ever an issue, it's gone immediately. I, I, don't, I don't spend money. So you're like, Jermaine, you eat food. Of course you spend money. No. I invest. There's a difference. Even when I eat food, I'm not eating food. I'm investing into my vessel. You understand? This is this is where my spirit lives. My spirit lives inside of this body. You understand? I got to take care of this body. I got to take care of me. Some of y'all have to take care of you. Your body's not a trash can. You understand? Stop putting trash inside your body. You're not a trash. Look, eat live foods. I'm not going to tell you to be vegan or nothing like that. It's your way of life. You do what you want to do. I'm just saying. But eat live foods. Keep your body alive and energized so that you can do the things that you need to do to create wealth. You understand? And, and take care of your family and spend time with your kids. I'm just saying, take care of yourself and don't spend money. Invest. The reason, why, the, let me tell you what the purpose of money is from my level of consciousness and awareness at this particular time. You know, I'll never tell you I'm right. I don't believe in right or wrong. I just believe in, because that's duality. That's duality consciousness, right? I believe in perspective. This is just my perspective. This is just what I believe right now at this point in time. Don't spend money on nothing. Invest in everything. Invest in your relationships, invest in your friendships, invest in your company, invest in your people, invest in your team members, invest, 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 invest in your body, invest. I don't waste time and I don't spend time. I don't spend time with the people I care about. I invest time. I make investments. And guess what? When you make investments, you'll have returns on those investments. The reason why people go broke is because they don't understand the number one rule of money is money supposed to make you babies. Right? Grant Cardone tells you this. Your money needs to be making you money. It, your money needs to have babies, right? So here's the thing. Here's what I want you to realize, okay? Invest your money. Let me tell you what my definition of entrepreneurship is, okay? Entrepreneurship is a return on your investment. That's it. That's what entrepreneurship is, in my opinion, at this level of consciousness. Listen, entrepreneurship is the art of ROI, getting a return on your time, getting a return on your money, getting a return on your efforts, your energy. That's what entrepreneurship is. You see, that's what it is. And that's what life is too. You reap what you sow. You ever heard that? You sow, you reap, you reap what you sow. But Jermaine, I don't feel loved right now. Well, how much love have you sown into people? Jermaine, I'm not encouraged right now. Well, how much encouraging Others have you done? But Jermaine, I, you know, my money's not really where I want it to be. Well, shoot. What have you invested in? First, first, the first investment is yourself. The first investment is yourself. Don't be fooled. You have to invest in your mind first. Yes. You have to invest in mentors. You're trying to do it yourself. You're trying to be cheap. Listen, there's people who pay a hundred grand a year in to other mentors because they're always trying to elevate their game. I, last year, I spent $150,000 on me. Why? So I can make millions to come. Do you understand? I, and let me say, I invested, what's up, Jada? I invested 150 bands. Why? Because I wanted to be somebody who could create unlimited wealth. And now, let me tell you what skills I have under my, under my belt, you know? Now I know how to communicate. I know how to sell. I know how to consult, I know how to trade, I know how to create my own products, I know how to create funnels now, I know how to create websites now. You see, that made me dangerous as an entrepreneur. Now I can hire a virtual assistant, teach them those skill sets, I can move in a completely different way with completely different levels of freedom than most people. You see, you need a mentor. You need somebody that's gonna teach you and show you how to move. And, and here's another thing, multiple streams of income. Why? Because a table doesn't have one leg. So a lot of times I'll talk to Forex people and they're like, Jermaine, I just wanna trade. Jermaine, I just wanna trade. Jermaine, I just wanna trade. Listen, I was with somebody the other day that was like, Jermaine, I just wanna trade. I just wanna trade. I just wanna trade. I just wanna trade. I'm like, all right, cool. Go, hard. Go ahead, follow your heart, right? They lost some money. And it hurt. Now, if they had other legs on their financial table, they wouldn't even be tripping half as hard. It'd be like, oh, okay, it's coming back. You see, there's not a shortage of problems in the world. 
See, business is solving problems for profit. The more problems you solve, the more money you're going to make. If you want to make more money, solve more problems. Solve bigger problems. I'm just giving what the streets call free smoke. <laughs> I'm giving a lot of keys away so that y'all can win, right? I'm giving this out of the love and kindness of my heart. When I, w when I got started, it was all about joining this and joining that and being this ace of all trades. Yeah. So the thing is, you're gonna, you can master multiple skill sets, but you're always going to major in like one or two. You're always going to be good at like one or two, like phenomenal one or two. Don't try to do everything incredibly well because what's going to happen is um, you're going to end up doing nothing well. You know, there's going to be times where um, I trade and I run it up. There's going to be times where I just focus on commissions. I'm going to tell you why. You cannot lose commissions. You can lose trades, though. But you can't lose commissions. But that doesn't stop me from trading every day, though. I trade, like, every day, practicing. But I really, really love you guys. And I want you to understand that, you know, I'm just giving you what I never had when I got started. Nobody gave me wisdom. So Nathaniel said, guess who's back? I never left, big fella. You already know. The thing is, guys, I may not like always be on social media. A lot of times I'm in the inbox. That's where I pretty much live. A lot of time I'm on Zoom calls and I'm trying to build an elite tribe of entrepreneurs. I'm really trying to mentor people and coach them to freedom, right? And I'm telling you, one MLM ain't going to solve your problems, big fellas. That's not what's going to do it. Right? I just I'm just trying to be honest with you. One one uh one forex trade ain't gonna fix your issues. One course ain't gonna do it. If you really wanna create wealth, you gotta walk with somebody. You gotta take people by the hand and listen. My new style may not be everyone's cup of tea. So sorry, so sorry, y'all, that I'm not out here flashing and showing you my bends. You know, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Listen, all this extra stuff is irrelevant. You could live in a box. Go live in a seven hundred dollar you know efficiency but have 25 30 100k 200k in the bank that's how you play the game when well, you really understand the game i know y'all played monopoly before i know you played monopoly right whoever owns the the most spots on the board wins come on it's about owning spots on the board it's not about your car it's not about the fancy house. I'm, I mean, you know, you ask people, what's your dreams? I want a new house. There's nothing wrong with the new house. The new house is incredible. Go get the new house. You create your own reality. I believe in you. I promise you I do. I know you could do it. But before you get the house, have, <laughs> have somebody living in your house, paying you rent. It's time we flip the switch. Because if we don't, we're going to stay in. Look, there's more than one rat race. Knowledge is true wealth. When it is in you, it doesn't have to be on you. Woo! Thank you, James. You just gave me a, an incredible, uh, incre incredible quote. When it's when it's within you, it doesn't have to be on you. That's powerful. That's powerful. I, I had to just meditate on that for a minute. I heard this crazy quote last week. I love y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share share with y'all this uh, um, this quote. It said, "When you learn to do no, it said when you strip off what's natural, and learn to do what's unnatural, you become supernatural." I was tripping. I was like, oh my goodness. Right? I'm into keys, man. I'm into keys and wealth and knowledge and power. You know, there's a time to be pretty boy Jermaine, but there's a time to just thug it out and just grind. You know what I'm saying? 2020 is almost here. Mm, I'm ready for it, though. It's coming. Some of y'all going to be like, Jermaine, where you been? You're going to see. You will see. I promise you, you will see it. Assets over liabilities. Yes, that part. So, you know, what's this conversation about? How to level up, guys. You want to achieve real freedom? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to issue a challenge for you guys. It's called the Freedom in 365 Challenge. Right? Freedom in 365 Challenge. And what's the challenge? To become truly free in 365 days. The first part is just understanding your numbers. So if you got $1,500 in expenses, what do you need to do? You need to make three times your money. So if you work a job, you make fifteen hundred a month or whatever, or you make more than that, but you got you know fifteen hundred in bills. First thing is, what's your opinion to grow the Spanish community? Um, just start speaking, just start encouraging them, and and telling them what it is that you feel like is gonna help them and where they need to grow. Um, sometimes people just need to see you do it by example. So lead by example. You know, preach what you practice, then practice what you preach. You know, do both, and and it'll grow. So the biggest thing is 
Like, if you have $4,500 in bills, that's fine. That's okay. You're going to need to make, like, four, uh, eight, so you're going to have to make, like, 12000 a month. But the goal is, whatever you make or whatever your expenses are, make three times that. Make that your first goal. Make three times what you what you need to live, okay? And then, once you have three times, if you're on a job, once you have three times what you need to live in a month, if you do it three months in a row, that's nine months worth of cushion. That's nine months worth of wealth. That's more than enough time to take care of your bills and work on your business. I've never had a job for more than three months. I've only ever had like two or three jobs in my entire life. I've never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, ever held it for more than two, three months. The minute I'm up three times, boom, I'm, I'm good. Back to my business. You know what I'm saying? So the last time I had a job was 2015, <laughs> November 13th of 2015, right? That was the last time that I had a job. And I'll tell y'all a story. Uh, I was I was homeless, right? So I got a place in the hood somewhere and rent was like seven hundred dollars. Seven fourteen twenty one. So I started making like four thousand a month. Boom, boom, boom. Quit the job. Actually, that's actually not how it happened. I'm a little bit more of a risk taker. Um what happened was I quit the job before I made the four thousand. I quit the job to make the four thousand a month. Then it went from four thousand to eleven thousand, eleven thousand to twenty thousand, twenty thousand, forty thousand, and then went into the condo. I was like, okay, I'm gonna live my dreams. That's what happened. So, um, so yeah, so make three times what it is your liabilities and then do it three months in a row. You can quit your job. Then put that money, then learn to sell. Cause think about this. When you go to Walmart, the person who makes $10 an hour at Walmart. Okay. The person making $10 an hour is scanning $700 TVs. $700 is flu. Imagine if they made five or $10 for every item over 30 bucks that they scan, dude. They basically have a six-figure job. You understand? This is why sales is important. Every major company, corporation sales. And by the way, I want I want to challenge you guys. You are your own competitor, but you do have competitors on the internet. You want to be better than your competitors. Like, Jermaine, what are you talking about competitors? Look, listen. You ever? It's happening to number two. If you ever watched a commercial, right? And you've ever heard somebody say, "And we are better than the competition." Pepsi and Coke. Perfect example, right? Mercedes, uh, Audi, and BMW are all competitors. Do you guys understand? I want you to understand. If you're trying to make a business on the internet, you have competitors. If you're trying to create wealth, you have competitors. And in this case, in the, in the wealth creation case, your competitors is every store you go to, every place you need to eat, every, every car that you need to drive. This is what's going on. I want you guys to play the game correctly. So you can win, right? You deserve to win. You create your own reality. You deserve success. But you know what? You got to let go of people's opinions. You got to let go of your own opinions about yourself. And you have to just decide to create real wealth. Decide to create it. Oh, you cute. You making 10000 a month. Congrats. Oh, you, oh, you making 20000 Congratulations. Now make 20000 a week. Jermaine, what's 20000 a week? A million dollars. Make 20K a week, then make 20K a day, right? Because this is, you know, it's not all about money, but remember what I told you, money is a clock that just tells you how much freedom you have left. So again, if you only have $10,000 in the bank, here's what's happening. You have $10,000 worth of freedom left. So if you have, basically, if you have uh, $10,000 in the bank and your expenses are 1000 a month, you only have 10 months worth of wealth. That's, I mean, great, congratulations. Average American doesn't have $500 to their name. But the thing is, that's why you want to up your standards. Play for $10 million. Play for $1 million. Play for five hundred k. Not because of the money, but for the freedom and for the person you have to become to actually make the money. You know? And I'm not trying to preach at nobody, but at the end of the day, I made a decision. I said, listen, Jay, even if it's not what people care about, even though they want to hear how I made $20,000 in four seconds, Eh, this is a time to preach that message because sometimes that does happen. I'm not going to lie. Not to me yet. It was more like 20K in a week. But I'm just saying, like, if it happens, I'll tell you guys. But the biggest thing is that's not who I want to attract. I want to attract people who are serious about their lives. Are you serious about your life? Are you serious about changing your life? Are you serious about becoming a real entrepreneur? Are you serious about repeat, not repeating the cycle? 
You need to learn some things. Money management. You need to learn some things. How to get money. How to keep it. How to multiply it. How to sell. How to go for the kill. How to build a company. How to raise affiliates. How to make a team. How to put it, put uh, how to hire people. This is real stuff. How to build an LLC. How, how to attract the perfect clients. How to run ads. How to invest your own money so you don't need a 401k. These are things that you need to learn so you can get out of the matrix. Which again, is limitation. Right? If you can't... If, if, if your wife, husband, or kid say, hey, I want to go to Italy tomorrow and you can't just go. Oh, I, I'd love to, but I don't have the money. Or the wealth trap. I'd love to, but I don't have the time. See, there's two problems, and I'm about to go after this. There's two problems that people are facing. Not enough money, all the time in the world, or all the money in the world, and not enough time. Because they're working so hard to make the money, they can't even enjoy it. So there's two traps. There's the trap of not being diligent enough and not really having anything because no one gave you the keys or you're just lazy, right? Just being blunt. Sorry if I hurt your feelings, but not sorry. Somebody got to tell you. I love you enough to tell you, right? So the biggest thing is you have to learn a skill set. Oh, Jermaine, I want to trade Forex and go sell some stuff. Why are you telling me to sell if I want to trade Forex? Because in order to trade Forex, you need some money. Where's the money going to come from? You have two choices. Learn to sell or get a job. Because when you have a job, you help them sell. Hmm. You become an entrepreneur, you work for one. Right? There's so many layers. There's so many different matrices, including the matrix of your own self-doubt. Right? I'm telling you. Stop telling yourself, like, we, we don't achieve what we want, not because we can't do it, but because we tell ourselves what we are capable of and what we're not capable of. Go sell some stuff. Right? Grant Cardone, he said, uh, he has, I said he has a billion dollars worth of real estate. Those homes have to be sold. See? So I'm trying to encourage you. Go sell some stuff. Go find somebody who needs help. Say, how can I help you? They'll tell you. Oh, okay, and then give them this. This is going to help them. You know? Sometimes we get bougie, man. Sometimes we get... And I noticed that... I'm not saying hardcore sales is the only way to do it. Because there's definitely... There's two types of sales. There's attraction sales, where you're running paid ads and you're running lead magnets and people coming to you. And I've done that too. Making money on autopilot. But sometimes that makes you lazy and complacent. And then if when campaigns stop, people's world crashes and they panic and then they don't have the skills to go get it. So I'm telling you, be the person, be the person who, who can, who, who will go get it, who go after it, who has the strength and the power within themselves to go get it if they need to, but also has the, the smarts to put our offers into the universe and, and, and into Facebook land and social media and who, who will use marketing to generate uh, clients and leads. Remember those keys? By being their authentic selves, by not really caring what people think, by understanding their vision and being the real version of them, right? Be, do that and then take the money and smash it. Go, go invest in some Forex, right? I'm telling you, I turned a thousand dollars in a 20K, right? I could turn a 20K, all right, same math. A thousand and a 20, right? 10,000 and a 200. 100,000 and a 2 million. And never play with money you can't afford to lose. So what am I What am I doing? I'm getting more money I can afford to lose. Do you guys understand? Do you guys understand? Do you guys overstand what I'm saying? Because if you stand, if you understand something, it means it's standing over you, right? Do you get what I'm saying? This is some powerful stuff. And, um... Actually, today, what I want to do is after I'm done, you know, just working out, doing meditation and stuff like that, and then to get ready to just get the bag, what I want to share with you guys is something very, very simple, all right? Your life can change forever if you decide to change it. So if you decide to change it by investing in yourself, investing in the mentor, deciding where, you, where you're going, and then just taking the steps every single day, you can have six months from now, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You can be in a completely different space. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. You can change everything in an instant. You can change anything and everything in an instant. But you gotta be willing to, 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 to pay the price. You know, you're either gonna pay the price, I'm starting sweating here, man. You either pay the price right now, <laughs> this is what I mean by like not even caring on social media. Just be yourself. You can pay the price now or you'll have to pay the price later. And the cost of not paying the price now is more costly than paying the price later. No, I'm tripping. The, the, the cost, yeah, exactly. The cost of not paying the price right now is going to cost you more later. Seriously. So either you're going to pay or you're going to pay attention. And, if you, and sometimes even when you pay attention, you still end up having to pay 